Because he said, he said what? The scripture he just read said to do what? Prove your what? Y'all still not asking. Prove your love, right? I'm free from the pool. I love right there. It's going to make you free. Free from what? Free from the lie. The lies that Christ is white. John chapter 7 verse 38. Because she asked, she said, why does the color of Christ matter? Why does A lot of people, know. this is, this is the garbage know. that this teaches. That, the, that these churches, that a lot of our people on a consistent basis. Every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday if you go. You know what I'm saying? Thursday, Friday. It, it's a constant lot that's being told. But watch this. Let me know. What they have to. The Bible been around for a long time, right? Were you not the Bible been around a long time, right? Now watch this. Why they ain't never read this? John 7, 38. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. You know what color these words is? They red. Right. So when they ain't red, what they mean? If Jesus speaking. Watch what Jesus say then. Watch this. <laughs> he that believe on me. If you believe in Christ, right? Yes. Watch this. Do. As the scriptures has said. It said as the what? As the scriptures has said. Mm. I don't so it said as the scriptures have said. So right? Is there a description of Christ in here? Is there a description of Christ? Yes. Right? So Christ said what? If you believe on him as what? As the scriptures have said. Go ahead. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So out of your belly, out of your mind, gonna flow the understanding and the wisdom of God. So we're gonna show you that God left his image in here because he knew something would happen. We proving to you how we, our love, we know how this is. Because it said it's gonna come in the last day, somebody gonna come and do something. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. What's this? I'm going to show you an example why you got to believe on Christ according to the scripture. Because I, I heard it, right? Now, again, how y'all doing? What's our name? You mind asking that name? What's our name? Patrick. So, you said what? Patrick. Patrick. All right, Patrick and Serenity. Serena? Serenity. Serenity. All right, right? Patrick and Serenity. Show me what color, which one of these is Christ? Show me which one. Watch this. All right, Serenity, come show me which one is Christ. Hmm. I wonder why. Because they brainwashed. Because that's the point. He said, believe in me as the scriptures have said. So they're going to grow up thinking this is God. They're going to grow up thinking this is Christ. And that the white man is just like Jesus Christ. But he's the same one that's kneeling on our people next and did this to our people in slavery. Because they are enemies according to the scriptures and according to the things that they have done to we our are, people. We are the true Israelite. Okay, correct. So like we were going on, right? right? The image of Christ is important. Matthew 24 verse 4. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 4. Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you, that you be not tricked. But what? For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And many shall come and do what? Saying, I am Christ. If many gonna come and say that they are Christ, our people gonna be, guess what? Christ gonna come back, and what he gonna do when he come back? He gonna crack the sky, right? And guess what they gonna be looking for? This. This is a real man. His name is Caesar Borgia. He's Pope Alexander the Sixth son. He was set up during the Renaissance. Y'all heard of Michelangelo, Leonardo, all that, right? Not uh, Leonardo da Vinci anymore. Yeah, correct. Because y'all watch Ninja Turtles. Y'all watch Ninja Turtles and everything, right? So those are based on Renaissance painters. That shows the image of Christ and something else. Hey, sis, come back, come back. I'm gonna show you something. I need you something because you gotta help educate the babies. You were so proud earlier. Now you come educate these babies with me. Come on, you gotta come educate these babies with me. Because we can't have them believing it. That creates low self-esteem. They don't know how God looks. They don't know what Christ is like, and Christ said he's like his father. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show it real quick. Hey, hey what's your sister's name right here? Talia. Talia. Stephanie. Stephanie. Keisha. Keisha. DJ. Alright, DJ, right? AJ, excuse me. So what we're doing is showing our people who uh, who what Christ look like. Why? Because it's very important, right? Because Y'all see this. What we're doing out here originally is showing our people who we are according to the Bible. That we God told the people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the Israelites according to the scriptures. Right? Because y'all see this side, right? On y'all right, right side, right? This is what we would call in slavery. But you can't find these names in the Bible as a people. 
But what y'all see on y'all left is what God calls us. Y'all see ourselves on the sign? What do y'all, come here, show me where y'all see y'all self Judah. 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 So called, y'all, so, you so called, you so called black right, sis. So according to this, God will call you Judah, or what your father is, right? I ask that because everybody ain't, you know, so everybody don't identify black. Some of our people identify as Native Americans. Because it's very prevalent, you know what I'm saying? A lot of our people don't know. But watch who else from the tribe of Judah. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Then give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. So watch this. This is why it's important. You're going to see. Because all of this ties into our nationality. Be not deceived. We ain't the, the days our people being deceived and lied to is over with. The days of this image of white supremacy is over. Now y'all going to wake back up to who y'all are according to God. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. The book of Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. But it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of what? Out of Judah. So who is our Lord? Who is our Lord, sis? Who is our Lord? Jesus. Jesus, right? Jesus the Christ. And it says he's evident that he sprang out of work. Out of Judah. So he sprang out of what tribe? Black. There you go. It's the so-called blacks. He sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Go ahead and show him real quick. Look, what's it? It's, oh, you see verse 14? 14. 14, I want you. Let me hear what let me hear what it says, sir. Our Lord sprang out of okay. Okay, okay. All right, right. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. <laughs> That's what y'all do. <laughs> didn't have to class yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. Now watch this. It's very important because look, the blessing how the people how the Bible describes the people of Judah looking like. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. The book of Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Huh? Judah mourning huh? and the gates they are blameless. It said Judah in mourning. Our people are down trying like they are today. They were their time back then, right? It said Judah in mourning and they going through it, right? Watch this. They are black. They are what? They are black unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. And what did we just learn? Jesus Christ from what tribe? Judah. Judah. All right, how you doing, sis? So look, sis, what we doing here, right? I'm showing them what Christ looks like, because them, them two kids, right? I'm going to see if she's going to have the same answer. Which one of these is Christ, sis? Which, which one, of course, you being taught is Christ? It really, it really don't matter. Look, see, that's the same. Old, that's the same doctor that we were taught in slavery. But watch the truth. Does truth matter to you? Hey, sis, what's your name? All right, right. If I say I'm gonna get y'all, y'all need, y'all need uh, twenty dollars, and I say I'm gonna give you twenty dollars. Does the truth really matter? Yes. It, it, well, come on. You got to give me $20 so, but I, Okay, then. So that's the same thing I'm asking. That's what I'm saying, I'm saying with this. The truth matters. I use that example to show you that the truth matters. You need that 20 and you that, I just told you I'm going to give it to you, but I, I'll never give it to you. I just led you up to, on to false hope. But I'm going to show y'all the truth according to the Bible. If anybody tells you anything about the scripture, they need to be able to prove it to you at the scripture. That's right. Come on. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelations of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. So what y'all don't know is, y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. And y'all supposed to be the servants of God. But you've been duped. You've been lied to. You've been told to you were black. You nothing but niggas. You know what I'm saying? We ain't nothing but gang bangers, pimps. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they gonna hurt hoes. You know what I'm saying? Throat babies. Thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's how our people, that's, that's how they teach us and treat us, right? But this is what this is what it, we're going into. Show you what Christ looked like so that you know that the same blood that's running the Christ vein running your vein. Give me verse, uh, go ahead with 14. Watch the description of Christ. Come on. Verse 14. His head and his hair. So it said the hair on his head and the hair on his face, right? Watch this. Come on. Were white like wool. So this is a description of Christ. It said the hair on his head and on his face was white and woolly, right? Which one of these images got white and woolly hair? The black one? There you go. Who the hell is this? The <laughs> For real. That's a deception. <laughs> For real, real talk. Nah, that's his gay lover. To be more Pacific. So, so look, this is a real man, though. His name is Le uh, uh, Caesar Borgia. Right? But I'm showing you. This one strike for this image. This is not how you describe Christ in the Bible. Come on. As a matter of fact, and it said woolly. Let me ask y'all something. Who got woolly hair on the face of the earth? Who got woolly hair? 
What people got woolly type hair? Y'all know what wool is? You know what animal has hair like wool? What animal? Sheep. There you go, like sheep. Now who got who got sheep like her right here? You you got sheep like her. Touch your head. Serenity, touch your head. That's her like wool. That's her like what Christ got. That's right. So understand, your hair is just like Christ. You got God like hair. Your hair is just like God's. He made you in his image, little man. And since I, the women came out of him, so guess what? We are all made in the image of God. You come out of the man. You the glory of the man that's coming from the image of God. Come on. His head and his hurt were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drunk wine. Y'all drink? It ain't a sin to drink, but it's a sin to get drunk. So he drink wine because he see what's going on with his people. He see what we're going through, what we're going through here in John Barrow. He see what's going on in Memphis, Chicago. He see what's going on with our people all around the world. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So it say feet like unto fine brass, right? I'm gonna show them something real quick so that y'all keep on going. I know y'all might gotta roll, might gotta be in that house at a certain time, right? It say feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, little sister? What color is brass? What grade you in? Huh? You out of school, so what color is brass? Brown. I'm putting the pressure on that lady like that. Come on, hey, but it's, it's, it's not, it's out of love. You have to be able to, our people got to be able to handle this, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to press her to what she breaks or something. But what color is brass since you're talking? What color is brass? Brown. There you go. It's a derivative of brown, right? So that's what we saw on y'all, right? Which one of these images got brown skin? Because it's going to the description of Christ. Okay, so we saw you that what Christ looked like. It said he had skins like bronze or it's brown, right? But he's going to get into the tint of their, and the shade of their skin color. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burn in a furnace. It said as if it burns in a furnace. If you burn any metal or mineral in uh, fire, what, is, what color is it going to turn? Black. Black. That's right. Black. So we saw y'all that Christ looked just like y'all. He got her just like you. So this is very important. He left, a, he left a description of him in the Bible so that we wouldn't be deceived. Because he knew this was going to happen when we went into slavery. And that's my, and that's my next point. So understanding this, now what, what does Christ look like, sir? Which one of these images does Christ more look like? The black man. But I still don't There you go. But, but you don't care, but guess what you tell me? Oh, see, that's the point. John 8 and 32, then John 7 and 38 again. Watch this. And then, watch this. I'm going to show you why you should care, because you okay. care about the Bible. You believe right, in it, right? right? Now watch this. Go ahead. John 8, 32. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Uh -huh. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It's going to make you free. Free from what? Free from the lies. The lies that Christ is white. Because the babies I had no idea before they walked away. So they didn't have had no idea. But you didn't know that. You didn't you said it didn't matter. But it said the truth matters. But the I'm truth matters. Already free because I know the knowledge already. Mm, I'm gonna show you how you're not. Come on, John 7 38. <laughs> the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. He didn't believe it on me. As the scripture has said. So how are you supposed to believe on Christ? As the, what does the Bible just say? Again? He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. As the what? Scripture. As the scripture has said. That's how we're supposed to believe in Christ. That's our knowledge of God. It's out of this Bible, out of the book of the law. This the historical records that was written down. That we were not taught in slavery. God knew that. That's why it's still around for today for you to learn the truth and to unlearn all of the lies, to combat the lies that we'll be taught in the last days. So I'm showing y'all that because we were taught this when. When were we taught this image right here? And slavery. We were taught that from children. And that's a byproduct of slavery. Right? So that's my next thing. All this, God is a mastermind. Right? Because we learned into slavery. We knowing that Christ is black and everything, right? Now we learning it. He said he looked like his father. So that means God looked like what? What? He's black. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 